Welcome to Booze and the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to enjoy a Mexican firing squad. Now, the name of this cocktail makes me think about those old black and white westerns on television from when I was a kid. Now, the video itself has absolutely nothing to do with it. I just like the name. But truthfully, this cocktail can first be found in print in The Gentleman's Companion that was written by Charles H. Baker. Now, this was written in 1939. However, he did not create the cocktail. He first came across it while in Mexico in 1937 at a little place called La Cucaracha. Now, it's aptly the uh, translation of this cocktail bar is called The Cockroach. But it was not a seedy dive bar. It was actually a Prohibition era style cocktail joint in Mexico. And from all accounts, it was quite nice. Now, Charles Baker later in life became a writer for both food and alcohol. And you know what? This cocktail has stuck around. So let's try it out. Now, on the surface, it is a combination between a margarita and a paloma, but it's got just a few ingredients. And we're going to start that with the lime juice. So grab yourself a lime, and this one's a fair size, so give it a roll to open up those membranes inside so it just more easily juices. We'll cut this in half, and then what we'll do is we will cut a wheel for the garnish, then measure out three quarters of an ounce, 22 and a half mils, and then pour that into the glass. Your second ingredient is going to be bitters, and for that we're using a little bit of the Angostura bitters. We don't need a lot. We're going to actually use two dashes. We're next going to move on to our sweetener, and there's an awful lot of bitters out of this dasher. I'm pretty impressed. Having said that, our sweetener in this case is grenadine. I'm using a little bit of roses. I don't have any homemade because the grocery store did not have any pomegranate juice for me to work with, but we do need a total of three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half mils. Now that we've balanced out the sweetness and the bitters between the lime and uh, the grenadine here, we're going to use our base spirit. And because this is Mexico, it's tequila. Now I'm using a basic silver tequila and you can use whatever tequila you want. However, these ingredients are going to cut some of that, uh, would cut some of the nuances that you might possibly get. So I would stick with a base silver tequila that you actually like. Now I'm using Cazadores. You're gonna use two ounces or 60 milliliters. Next, what we're going to do is shake this with some ice. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is fill the glass full of ice or most of the way to the top. And just use some decent solid ice. You don't wanna use crushed ice for this. And try not to make a mess in the, the process. Slap your lid on top. Make sure you have a really good seal so when you flip it, you can shake it with a smile. Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you Take this off with the strength of a thousand limes, put it off to the side, grab yourself your favorite glass. Now in this case, I'm using a double rocks glass, 12 ounces, 360 mils, and we're going to fill this up with some ice all the way to the top. Now one of the things that you could do is you could put this into a highball glass if you want, or any other type of glass you really want to drink this with. So just use your Hawthorne strainer and pour it on top. Oh yeah, look at that. Absolutely a gorgeous color. Now grab the lime wheel that you cut earlier and then just put it on to garnish it like so. And here's a Mexican firing squad. Immediately I get a little bit of the tequila, but I get a little bit of the grenadine as well. Mm. That's good, the tequila is there. It's loud, it's proud, and it's tempered with the lime and the grenadine. Now you could throw your garnish in there if you wanted to give it a little bit more uh, of that citrus bitter uh, tartness. And you know what, if you like this style of cocktail, take a look after the recipe card right up here.